Alright, let's rock and roll. Today I have a review of the DVD, The Collector. I picked this up at the pawn shop for only a dollar, so it's a great deal. Time to check it out. And it stars Josh Stewart, Michael Burke, Andrea Roth, Juan Fernandez, Carly Scott Collins, and that's all that's listed. And uh, pretty much, I didn't understand this movie completely. Um, it is a horror movie and it is gory, so be warned about that up front. And it, um, it says here that it's from the twisted minds behind Saw 4, 5, and 6, so maybe that's why it was so gory. Maybe there's something wrong with those people that created those movies. So, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty gory for the most part. And the movie is basically starts out where this couple comes home and they find a trunk in their house and it's probably a person inside but you don't really know and pretty much it, it looks like they get grabbed and then it just cuts away and so then it goes to uh, uh, there's a guy working on these people's house uh, there's a whole bunch of people they're like renovating this house or updating it or I'm not sure exactly what they're doing they don't ever really say but he's like fixing things and you see tons of trucks outside and people working on it but they live there it's not like they're building the house or anything they do already live there and um, this this one guy, he's a thief, and uh, he kind of uh, uses his construction business to stake out the house. And these people are going to go on vacation, so his plan is to when they go on vacation, he's going to rob their safe because his uh, his wife needs the money to pay off a loan shark. And um, so everything's going fine, and he he goes to they're going to go on vacation, and he he goes in to steal. Uh, it's like a, a gem or something because the guy's a jeweler and uh, he goes in to steal it and then he hears something and he kind of you know he hides and he and it ends up being this guy right here the collector now exactly what he was collecting you know they kind of I didn't think they were real clear on what he was collecting exactly because they, they said he collects humans but I mean what does that mean exactly and it was, that part was a little confusing to me I didn't understand it completely but uh, he's obviously not trying to collect this family because, uh, as the as the robber soon finds out, the whole house is booby trapped. There's booby traps everywhere, and he's already got the the parents in the ba the basement area. And he's it, they don't really explain this either. You don't understand exactly why, but he's torturing them. And there's another guy in a trunk, like I had said had happened earlier, and I didn't understand that whole thing. <laughs> in a lot of ways, this movie was confusing. And, um, so anyways, he ends up, uh, trying to save everyone. You know, he's trying to get them out of the house, he's trying to find the little girl, you know, he's trying to save everyone and do the right thing. So even though he's a criminal, maybe he's not all bad. And, um, but there was another part that I, I thought really didn't make any sense to me. The family's going on vacation, so, but they haven't come back from vacation. It's like the first day of their vacation or something. But this guy already has the whole house booby trapped. So where, how did he booby trap it before they left? Obviously, they would have noticed. Or how did he booby trap it and then get them back right away? I didn't, I didn't get that. That didn't make any sense to me. And so, um, the the one guy's trying to save them all. And I'm not gonna say how exactly that turns out, but uh, he's he's just trying to escape this guy a lot and. Uh, this guy's, and he, he keeps trying to help the family get away, and then they get caught again, and he gets caught, and he gets away, and, you know, just kind of a lot of stuff like that, and the guy does stuff to all, everybody, and, um, that's basically the movie. I liked it, even though I thought it was pretty confusing, and, uh, if you like horror movies, I definitely think you'd like this. If you don't like horror or gore, probably stay away from this. And uh, I'm going to go over the special features real quick. Uh, there was an alternate ending, but the alternate ending is just basically the original ending, cut extremely short. They cut pretty much everything out from the ending, which almost made it make a little more sense with the original ending, but the alternate ending, I think this movie makes absolutely no sense. And <laughs> so that ending didn't make any sense. And then uh, two deleted scenes, which both of them had nothing to do with the movie. So I don't really understand why they added them or why they even filmed them. I mean, just to waste money is the only thing I can think of. But, I mean, if you delete a scene that has nothing to do with your final movie, you don't have to throw it back in and be like, 
oh yeah, we deleted these, and then we give you a totally different perspective of the movie. No, it, it was, it didn't have anything to do with anything, so what's the point? And there were, there were also a music video and a look at the soundtrack, and I didn't watch those. No point. The video was pretty good. I thought maybe, you know, Blu-ray would be a little clearer, but, you know, nothing to complain about. But, uh, like I said, I like the movie. Uh, let me know what you think of the movie, and let me know what you think of the review. Thanks for watching.